So welcome back to the Train With Us series. Today we're gonna to touch on how to clean an office. Now we'll always have a rolling trash can. A lot of people call it uh, a barrel, whatever you wanna call it. For us it's very important because it's a watertight container. A lot of times we're reaching into trash and we don't know if someone put a cup or something in there and we don't wanna you know, make a, a bigger mess. We got our rolling trash can, glass cleaner, we use a feather duster and the way we do this is we look at it a feather duster kind of like when you're doing the floor. This is your sweep, this is your mop. That's how we clean. So while a lot of people think feather dusting is just the one, one swipe and one pass and you're done, we do realize that you also have to clean. So feather will get the dust and debris off where this will get either your dirt, your fingerprints, whatever it might be. We use a lot of methods cleaning on how we clean. So we have a, a motto that we teach you how to clean, not what to clean. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. So with our method, there is a system that we use. So first thing we do when we walk into an office, we always get the trash first. This liner doesn't need to be changed, as you can see. It's not wet, torn. It doesn't have a bunch of post-it notes stuck into it. So by tying it on, like you see here, it enables me to use this multiple times. So it's environmentally conscious at the same time. It also lets me speed up every day. I'm gonna have my glass and surface cleaner and we always use microfiber. Microfiber, it doesn't harbor infection, so this can't get really filthy, dirty, and like a cotton towel would, and it does aid in our cleaning process. So what's our next thing we're gonna do? Well, I'm gonna have a system on how I clean. So while I can point out to people, clean that, clean this, clean this, you're gonna see how I use a system and not have to really think about it. I'm just gonna follow what the building or what the room tells me to do. So first thing I'm gonna do is get this out of the way because I don't wanna bother with this anymore. And what I'll look at is I'm gonna find a start and finish point. So for me, I usually choose light switches. So if I'm starting at this light switch, I'm gonna go high to low, right to left, however you wanna do it, but that's what I'm gonna do. So here's an example. While I'm dusting around, if I have a picture frame, I'm gonna go and hold that corner so I'm not looking to see if this is dusty, I'm just assuming that it is. If I'm in a commercial building, a lot of times they don't want us to touch this kind of stuff. So we'll feather dust lightly around it. Areas that are cleared, we can do this two ways. If I'm worried about the surface, 90% of the time I will spray the towel and wipe the surface down. Now in a commercial building, I'm not moving all of the sensitive documents and all of that kind of stuff because I don't know if, if I touch it and something happens and gets lost. In your house, go ahead and pick it up. You know, wipe things down. My goal in this is everything behind me. So if I look at it from the, the light switch, everything behind that light switch is clean. I don't have to go back. Hey, really quick, we wanna say thank you for supporting us and helping us get over the mountaintop, 1,000 subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We put content out on a regular basis. If you're in a commercial environment, a lot of times customers won't want you to clean their screens because they're afraid you're gonna ruin it. If they do, like in this situation, I know this gentleman and he's like, go ahead and clean it. I'm gonna spray my towel first. I'm not spraying directly on it because if this screen is hot and I'm spraying it on a hot screen, it's gonna burn the spray marks into the screen. So with this, screen's dry, not warm. Same thing, I'm holding the edge so it stays steady. And now I'm on to his, this person's desk. Things I'm gonna watch out for. Down in here, a lot of people miss behind where the person sits and then down below. And sometimes you'll actually have to get down on your hands and knees and wipe that because people will put their feet down there. Now we come to the desk, which gets a lot of questions. What do I do? What, what do I not do? If I'm walking to a desk like this, in this environment, I'm not gathering up all this person's paperwork and piling it up. I'm leaving it how it is. I'm using, like I said, my feather duster to sweep, so to speak, get all that fine dust off, pulling it one way. And then a certain situation like this, you'll see cup marks. I don't know if you can see that in the video where people are putting cups on the desk. So same thing, this is a natural wood surface, so I'll usually spray my towel and I am wiping it down. I can pick up stuff like this if I want to. Same thing here. Keyboards, 
calculators, remote controls, all that kind of stuff I can pick up. So same thing here. And then you're turning around and getting these chairs. Same thing, you're looking at areas here that usually get missed. Watching my low dust. And that's where the feather duster comes in handy. So I'm coming back around. I've got a windowsill here and I've got windowsills here. This is an area where you're probably gonna have to lift the blind, clean it, and then put it back down. And then I'll return them back to where they were. Chairs, I'm not skipping over them. A lot of times, even in your house, you're gonna skip over a chair. Like, oh, it's a chair, I'm not, no, I don't need to spray it. And you may not need to spray it. The handles may be straight, they may be clean. There's not a problem with them. But down below, you're gonna collect a lot of dust. All this, top to bottom, so high to low. Again, this is a glass tabletop, so I'm looking for fingerprints. Then coming through here, always behind the doors are another area that a lot of companies miss. So same thing here, these get really dusty. And then if you're looking at some doors that get really dirty where people tell you to do this, you'll see handprints here. So you're gonna have to wipe these down. This is an area that does not get dusted enough. To the point where we'll come in some buildings and you can see the dust in the actual door frame. So that's another area. And then again, baseboards. And now I'm back to my, my light switch that I started at. And I know everything in this room is clean. You'll see a lot of companies put their bottles like this. Well, these spray bottles have a tendency to come loose and then they pop loose and get all over your carpet. So what we do, I'll put my towel here because I know this is clean, I can use it again. And I'll put my bottle on the inside. That way if this bottle has a tendency to wanna to let go, at least it's gonna be inside my watertight container. And then I'll push it out. Cause I, of course I don't want it to be in, in the space that I'm cleaning. And the last thing we do is we vacuum. So this is our battery operated Karcher backpack vacuum that we actually did a review on. So you can look at that at our YouTube channel as well. Yeah, we're a little bit spoiled with this. We don't have to worry about a cord or anything like that. And this is again, a suction type of vacuum. So I can suck up anything from paper clips to staples. It doesn't make a difference. If it's on the floor, it's not gonna hurt my vacuum. It's a very handy vacuum to have. If you have any comments, questions, go ahead and put those down in the comments. And we'll be sure to answer them. Look forward to seeing you guys on our YouTube channel more often. And again, we make regular content, so we'll see you guys soon.